Libra, this is Irish Donna Tarot, and this is my channel. I'm Donna Wilder Hart. We're going to do your Money and Abundance reading with a 10 card Celtic spread and an Oracle card at the very end giving you advice from the Laws of Attraction experts, the Hicks, uh, Abraham Hicks. Um, and so let's get started with your reading. Let's see, whoops. Hmm, Libra, you might be feeling a little conflicted about money right now. You are ruled by Venus and you rule the seventh house of relationships. So relationships play a large part in all money readings because it is ruled by Venus as our relationships. Money and relationships and love are ruled by Venus. So let's take a look and see what the energy is at the bottom of the deck. Abundance, ten of coins. That is energy that you're bringing in. You want more abundance with this Page of Swords. It says that you are doing a deep dive into how you spend money right now. You're starting to go over your accounts uh, and it looks like you spent maybe a little too much money during the holidays. You're going over to look and see sort of what what leaks in the boat there are, so to speak. It also looks as though you're, you may be spying on a partner to see if they overspent or looking for receipts or credit card bills <laughs> to know uh, what's going on in your money life. All right, so the central card of that you're coming into is the tower card. You definitely feel like there need to be big changes made. There's something about what's going on in your life, and we'll clarify the tower card for you, that speaks to a sense of crisis and urgency, and it's very dramatic. You know, for some people, this card can mean having losing a job. It can mean, have you ever heard, you know, like businesses will announce They'll make a public announcement that they're going to restructure, and the restructuring will cause different people to lose jobs. Uh, but this also can be the epiphany card, which says, whoa, ho, ho, I do not like how my lack of abundance, I don't like the feeling that, you know, I might want to jump out of a burning building. So it does really show that there's some structure that will change in your life um, Time-wise, it may not be January, but you're going to have your first inkling that you're going to create a tower or you're going to experience a tower in your life that's going to create a huge shift. Crossing that for ill or good is your intuition, the High Priestess card. At the base of the reading, it shows that you're unable to sleep at night. You're very worried about the situation. It shows in the recent past that you felt really comfortable, safe, and secure. Uh, it shows that uh, in your crown, which is the best that can be achieved, means that even if you feel like you have been shot out of a cannon, that business-wise you have complete mastery and power to bring your abundance into alignment. So this looks like an event or it could be an isolated situation. For some of you, it's just possibly overspending by a lot. It also can mean that you have a sudden expense or a repair on your home because we have an abundant home over here. Uh, and it also means that some of you may be simply subject to business changes in the future, which throw your sense of security into doubt. But it does look like, for instance, if your company restructures, it, it does look like you're secure. But we'll look at the rest of the reading for January. It does show that you are planning for the future. It shows that for some of you, you might have children who need... Um, to have a college fund started for them. This is really squirreling away money, but it also shows me that what, what surprises many of you, this energy is coming together here that says, how could I owe this much money to this many people? It's a slow drip, drip, drip. For many of you, this is going to be cutting out all of those like subscription services that you get, feeling like, wow, you know, I'm spending all this money that I didn't realize I was spending. So I like that energy for, I think for most people, they have to routinely go through their expenses and simply say, well, I'm not using this service, so I'm going to unsubscribe or whatever. Okay, so you, oh, Three of Swords card, that's a 
very difficult card. That shows that you are in a situation, for some of you, you feel as though your marriage may be coming apart. Again, relationships can give us some surprises that indicate that you could be in a situation where relationship issues, because this is not a love reading, but it's ruled by Venus that your relationships are undermining your financial well-being, that your partner may be spending money in ways that they're not disclosing to you that are interfering. The third party situation is the in interference to the topic at hand, which is your money well-being. So it looks like you're not too happy with the effects of relationship right now on your abundance or lack thereof. The Wheel of Fortune says that it's time to hop on or off the train. It shows that your biggest fear is possibly a partner, and it shows that the outcome is, is that you are on the verge of a huge argument with that person. You may well cut a person off from access to your credit card. It may be a child, okay? It could be a child. Sometimes children go to college and you give them the fund. I know one friend of mine was announcing at work one time, it was funny, but it wasn't, that he had given his daughter like $3,000 in cash or $25. $2,500 for her college expenses for the semester. And for some reason, she spent all the money like within six weeks. And she had another, you know, three months or two months probably to, to make ends meet. And he had to, he really, he cut her off in a pretty harsh way, but she never did it again. So that's the kind of energy that I'm seeing for you. Let's go ahead and clarify this tower card. What is the tower card for Libra? Okay, it looks like a problem with a child. <laughs> we have lots of children in the reading. We have a page, a page, a page. This is a family member. Uh, okay, so you're going to interfere with their overspending also. So that's a great card. Uh, it's, you know, this is how we learn. Children do not learn about money until, you know, we help them understand what it means to be responsible. All right. It also shows, yeah, the Tower card, Seven of Swords. Somebody was sneaky-deaky. Somebody did something that they shouldn't have. They got caught. You're really mad. It shows that you're very disappointed in whoever this is, and it shows that you're not going to allow it to happen again. Again, you are taking action. You're taking power back. You're taking control of your money back. Again, this person is going to be cut off from a credit card or whatever access they had. Let's see what the Three of Swords means for you. What does the Three of Swords mean for you here? It means that you're trying to teach. Oh, it's a person you love very much. You have great affection, but you're trying to teach them a lesson about the future. Why are you so worried about this? Why are you so worried about this? Well, you're feeling as though it's going to be a little bit hard. You know, why should you have to have this experience when you're giving somebody something that you never had growing up? When you were a young person, you never had this kind of benefit. And so it's haunting you a little bit that you probably gave too much and indiscriminately. It's something, you know, parents overgive a lot of times these days and it isn't how people learn really. Okay, the Five of Swords is the Four of Cups. Okay, you're not having it. You're just not accepting whatever explanations this child has given you or this person in your life has given you. You're not having it. You're finished. And it shows that your final action is the tower again. This person is in for a rude awakening that you are not, that they are undermining your stability or their own future stability by making decisions in this way that it's not, you're not having a period at the end. Good for you, Libra. That's good. Let's look and see what your oracle energy is. <laughs> Cutting off a credit card or whatever way you will restructure money with this person says a lot. All right, here we go. Anything that you are giving, the advice is from Laws of Attraction, my attention to it invites the essence of it, okay? So it says, anything that you are giving your attention to is an invitation to the essence of it, saying, I want money, 
but it will not come, is the same as saying, come to me absence of money, which I do not want. When you are thinking of money in the way that will make it come to you, you always feel good. When you are thinking of money in the way that keeps it from coming to you, you are always feeling bad. That is how you know the difference. So in this lesson that you are trying to teach this person in your life, you just say, well, you know, this is a great outcome. We've now learned that what, whatever we were doing didn't work, and so we're going to be abundant in our thinking um, because we're just going to change the structure in which we operate in this relationship with money. And remember, people need to learn to make their own abundance. When we give somebody too much, we steal from them the ability for them to develop the skills and resources that will allow them to be successful in life when you are not anywhere near the place in their life to help them. So when we're looking at children, you know, if you always bail a child out of a crisis, they're never going to learn. All they're going to learn is to be more manipulative to get abundance out of other people. If you want to teach them abundance, you have to allow them to, you know, do whatever they're doing, make their mistakes, have the consequences. These are natural consequences. And so it shows that that's how they will learn. Libra, I love doing this reading for you. Thank you so much. If you like this or you don't like it, please make comments in the, the box below or I mean in the, in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much and thank you to all the subscribers who've been so generous in the month of December. Thank you so much.